Hi guys, it's your boy Luke Plays, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword video. So I know that I'm a bit late. Um, normally I upload Pokemon Sword on Wednesdays, but I'm uploading on Sunday. Don't worry, it will go back to normal uh, next week. So uh, anyway, uh, in the last video, if you watched that, we completed the fighting type gym, and so yeah, that was the fourth one. We are now halfway through the gyms, and yeah, it's basically we that needs to be said so let's head out of here and probably hop but someone will probably be outside to say something to me so let, let me guess let me guess oh someone else all right bow walk bow walk Who, who's that is that like a pokemon oh it oh it's it's gene oh no that's not mine <laughs> look my look like looks like my yampa really likes you huh anyway we've run we've run into each other at a good time you know the moral here in stow on side is said you know the <laughs> i need to i need to start again you know the mother moral here in stow on side it said to tell the story of the hero of galar as well <laughs> i don't know why i'm being so so <laughs> though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here okay <laughs> You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom! <laughs> big Bang. It's the Big Bang. What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yampa. Oh, so there, there was kind of like a bang. Uh, so I think I might investigate it as well. I think this is the right way anyway, because uh, if I went the other way, if I just went down, then I would be going where I've already went. So here's Sonia again. Do I need? To, am I supposed to talk to her? What's going on up there? Oh, okay. So I guess we need to go up here, and we'll see what is there. Um. So oh no, it's that bead person again. It's the it's the male that I thought was a female. <laughs> I I thought I thought he was a lady. Like I mean, he he kind of looks like a lady. Like your first impression would be that he's a lady, but I guess I need to I need to get used to calling him a male now. So yeah, destroy it, destroy it all. We are going to find those wishing stars. Oh my god, I hate bead. Bead is so such such an arrogant character i don't know we've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him copper wait oh wait that's that's bead saying that copper rajar i guess that's um the pokemon if you're truly the chairman's pokemon then you should feel grateful for it for the this chance to help him find wishing stars okay so oh no she okay oh well, i said she okay he oh my you again so you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor that's the way of things is it i see so do you have some cunning in you but i don't i, I might have read that wrong uh but it were I, but i won't have it something i don't know i i accidentally skipped it it says i won't have it and then um and then I just I just didn't read it because I, I didn't see it anyway. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Bead. Okay, let's go, Bead. I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy you. Uh, Duoj Duojan Duojan a Pigeon Man. Well, also, oh, I should have changed the um my Pokemon because this video is gonna be all about Intevion because in the last video I uh, evolved him so. Uh, I, I just can't be bothered to uh, switch Pokemon, so I guess I'll take it out with Pigeon Man, and then we can change. So Pigeon Man use Air Cutter. Um, oh, it's lagging. Uh, hmm, I've already seen that enough to judge you by something. Reflect. Um, Reflect made the opponent stronger against physical moves. Oh, okay. So it doesn't reflect back at me, does it? It's just. Uh, doesn't do as much damage okay so only just one more oh light screen what is that oh wow is that is that your only move i'm just gonna i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take you out here just seriously you're so bad oh my god how did that not take it out what should this one hit this damn 
damn, Pigeon Man, what are you doing? Pigeon Man, why have you not taken this out? This this thing should have died last move, and that, that's just facts. But anyway, the Duosion fainted. What's your next Pokemon? I'm going to switch to Inteleon as well. So, Foxy leveled up to level 34. It's weird, because Foxy was um, behind, but now they've actually overtook, or overtaken, Pikachu, Genie, and Psycho. Should an old... Okay, Night Slash, I think that's a good move. So let's forget an old move. Let's see what it is. 70 damage? Yeah, that's good. That's like my best move, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's uh, tied with Sucker Punch, but... Um, beat up. So these are all attacking moves. I think I might... Oh, I'm going to get rid of Snarl, because Snarl doesn't do that much damage, so... 1, 2, and ta-da! Foxy forgot Snarl, and it learned Night Slash instead. So, Gotharita, will I switch Pokemon? Yes, I will switch Pokemon, and I will switch to Inteleon! So, uh, yeah, this video is going to be all about Inteleon. The thumbnail will probably have Inteleon. Everything is just, I'm, I'm, I don't think I, I won't not use Inteleon in this video. I, I need I need a test. I, I, and the thing is, Inteleon, it, uh, he looks like a, a girl, so I, it's tempting to say her, but it's actually him. It's like the exact same situation with B, because as you can see in the bottom left, it is a male. I mean, it was a male before. It looked like a male with... Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, Lost Pulse is a good move, so... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that didn't do as much damage. Fake Tears. Um, I shouldn't really feel bad. I mean, it's my opponent. I got caught... It, I mean, maybe I should feel bad. It got caught by Bead, but... Let's try Sucker Punch. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh, damn, that did a lot. Oh, my God, it's always left at such low health. Are you kidding? And Psybeam, Psybeam, why does it do so much damage? Why do why do all of your Pokemon have Psybeam? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, anyway, Snipe Shot. Oh, wait, I just realized you used Snipe Shot. I forgot that I had that. I thought it was Water Pulse, Water Gun for some reason. But I remember I got rid of Water Gun for Snipe Shot. And I think Snipe Shot might even be better then um water pulse so yeah genie wants to move the, learn the move crunch forget an old move and let's see so this does 80 damage that is so good okay i'm gonna use the target is that that's actually that's actually quite a useful move panda so i think i might just keep that and i probably just get rid of the one that does the least damage so it's swift and bite i'm gonna get rid of bite so it's a dark move for a dark move uh, so yeah, is it okay to get by and then crunch? Yes, it is. Um, ta-da! Judy got by and then crunch instead. Psycho grew to level 34. Okay, so, Hatchren. I'm gonna keep current Pokemon. I know that's risky, but I think the first thing I might do is use a potion. Maybe? Oh, level 35? You're actually good. I mean, like... I, it's more, it's not, it's not like uh, me, I, my worries aren't me losing the fight, it's just me, uh, it's Inteleon getting taken out, so if I use, ba if I go bag, what would I use, I can use, no, I'm not gonna waste a super potion, I guess if I just use a potion, I guess, I'll just use a potion, hopefully, if they do attack with me with that side beam move, it won't take me out fully, so... Anyway, my partner move is splendid, wouldn't you say? I haven't even seen it yet. Psybeam. Okay, of course it's Psybeam. Of course it's Psy... Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? It's a critical hit. I bet that wouldn't have killed me if it wasn't a critical hit. This, this game, this game, just all of, all of the bad stuff happens when you don't want it to. Seriously. But anyway, I guess we're going to use Pikachu, and I might use that time to uh, uh, revive... Um, I might use it, use this to revive, um, Inteleon, so, uh, where's the revive, where's the revive, 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 um, oh, here it is, I, okay, I have ten of these, this, this, this should be fine, okay, so hopefully it doesn't take out Pikachu, but for some reason it's really overpowered, it's just, like, I know I've won this, it's gonna one hit me, it's gonna one hit, oh, okay, uh, so, um, I might use Slam. I actually, Slam, I never use Slam, but I realised how good of a move it is, so. Um, I'm not sure if that was supposed No, don't take out Pikachu! Why? Why do you have to...
have to have side beam. I hate side beam. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. Um. Uh. Why? It's just. Uh, I know I've won this match. It's just I really want ev all everyone to have. And you got know Psycho. Psycho can take like probably three side beams because Psycho is an absolute tank. So let's see how much a side beam would be. I'll go and revive Pikachu. And we'll see, uh, so I'll revive Pikachu. And let's see how much a Psybeam does to Psycho. So, unless they don't use Psybeam, which I'm... I mean, Psybeam seems to be... Oh, Dazzling Gleam, what does that do? See, look at that, look at that, look at that. That would have probably taken out, like, a quarter of a normal thing. Okay, why did you get first move again? Okay, now, now you're using, like, the soft moves. Counter, just counter that. Why does it have to fail? Why? What, what did I do to make it fail? Stop. Stop. If I get hit by this like two more times, I might... Why? Why? Is this is this game broken or something? Is this game literally broken? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. It failed. It failed again. Okay. Okay. I think I can just about take one more hit of Dazzling Gleam. Um... Okay, jeez. Jesus. It failed again. Okay, okay. This game is trash. <laughs> this is... Why did it... Why? It just didn't hit right. Genie has 100 health, so hopefully... Wait, I just realized Genie... Genie's move didn't do anything, did it? Oh, my God. Why does this have to be so... I just want to... I didn't know it was so damn hard to literally just win a fight with all of your Pokemon alive. Like, I think... I think... Okay, I'm going to use... Oh wait, it was Pikachu that um, that I used, and it didn't do that much damage. But let's try Crunch. Crunch, please do a lot of damage. Yes, I'm so happy that that was super effective. And the good thing is, everyone survived um, while being uh, while while being alive. So yeah, what? Why? Why is why is Pikachu still not level th 34? <laughs> oh, they have another one. They have another one. Are you actually kidding me? All right, I'm gonna switch to Inteleon, maybe. Oh, what the hell? I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I would let you keep someone for winning? Okay, Ponyta. I guess I'll just use one move on you, and then a oh, Crunch is super effective. So Crunch may one hit it. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, then. Wow. Okay. Okay, then. So, that, I know that wasn't fully Inteleon, but, I mean, Inteleon... Wow, only... That didn't even, <laughs> didn't even level up. Okay, so I know that wasn't fully Inteleon, but I kind of have to switch because it was doing a lot of damage. Detect? What is Detect? Pigeon Man wants to learn Detect. Let me see what this is. Um, this move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it is in succession. So, kind of like protect. I might just use... Oh, wait. So, yeah, Pigeon Man. Okay. So, um, what would I get rid of? Gust is basically just the crappy version of, um, Air Cutter. And I barely use it. So, I might just get rid of that. Is it okay to forget Gust? Oh, I should have got rid of Quick Attack, shouldn't I? I think they probably did both did the same damage so anyway you defeat the Pokemon train Pokemon trainer B this has to be some kind of mistake I demand a do-over you're not getting a do-over all right you're trash just just admit it just admit that you're trash so 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 but why how can this be how could this, someone like you get in my way I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to beat the champion. I was the one chosen by the champion. How's that? How, how is that for you? Is that is that is is that good? Did did that feel good? Me, like the champion. Who would you ever get endorsed by? The chairman or the champion? The one that's literally the champion of Galar, the person who's like always winning and everything, or the chairman that does. I don't even know what the chairman does, but it's nowhere as good as the champion. So just shut up, all right? Just, just please shut up, all right? So anyway, I'm one of the elite, someone who who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. Challenger bead. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, she lost. I wondered what you up to when you asked to borrow chair chairman Rose's copper jar. I can't believe you tried to use the chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. You're in big trouble. <laughs> Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? 
Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something? How would you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? There's the chairman. What do you have to say? Young bead. She doesn't look young. I'm <laughs> when I first saw her, uh, my impression of her was an uh, old lady. And um, I guess they're both from It's young man. What, what I thought was old lady turned into young man. <laughs> Seriously. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I, I, actually, I think I accidentally skipped a piece of text. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a training school to give you a chance at success. Oh, the backstory of Bead and Chairman. I mean, Rose. I thought I always thought Rose was a girl's name. I guess it's both. I mean, it's, I think it's just more common for a girl, but I think a boy, I guess a boy and a girl can be called Rose, so yeah. But trying to destroy the moral part of Galar's history, you show no love towards Galar. You're, you're big trouble, Bead. You have been naughty, naughty boy. You are clearly not worthy challenger for the gym challenge. Oh, oh, this is revenge for all of those salty moments. This is revenge. I'm going to enjoy watching this. <laughs> We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Get absolutely wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. You must be joking, right? You, you, I mean, I, 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 was, I forgot to say you twice. You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean, it, because it's, he thought you were good, but then you did something that was bad. That's the reason why he disqualified you. Bead is so dumb. Like literally, it's impossible to say that Bead is not, is not dumb. Seriously, there are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I'll be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Oh, get wrecked! Absolutely wrecked! Absolutely wrecked! Oh, Sonia and Luke too. Terrible shame! All this an absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason, yet we do what we must to do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Okay, so, you know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Ooh, that's got a sting, that's got a sting Bede. <laughs> has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing. And so, Bead was battling for the chairman's sake. So I'm, I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to call this. I, I, I'm either gonna call it Intelion or Bead's backstory. I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna, I don't, I don't know what I should call it. Bead's backstory or Intelion. You know, I might just, I might just call it both. I might just do Intelion and Bead's backstory. I think I'll do that. So anyway. Uh, they was expected to be called Antelion, but I mean, never saw this coming. Uh, Bead's tragic backstory. No family, but then the chairman saved her life. Okay, I think I missed something. So, what an awful time of events. I hope that, m m I hope the Mural survived all that. And then I love how, like, she got disqualified from Rose for, uh, doing that. And then before this all happened, uh, he was like, um, Bede was like, oh, you'd be doing a favour. You'd be doing a favour for <laughs> the chairman. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. She, uh, he, the Pokemon actually destroyed it. Oh, damn. Okay, then. Okay. What's that? It's that, it's that weird story thing, the Galar story, where there were two people with swords and all that. I don't know. I don't really know that much about it. I forgot. I forgot. I know. I, I forgot. Yep. Anyway. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the runes were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about the Galar's legend? Um, a sword and shield. Right, more than any hero, those things that appear to be s Pokemon that stand out. Yeah, that's the reason why this, this game's Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. So yeah, that's the reason. Uh, but anyway, not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Yup, they probably were. <laughs> Anything else look interesting to you? 
Uh, the hero was actually two people. I don't, the same as the tape shoes, I don't even know what that is. The, the hero was actually two people, let's select that. Oh, good observation. There, there really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the beauty drop-in? Hmm, I wonder. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry. I, what's a tapestry? I, they probably explained they um, before in the game, but I just I just forgot what a tapestry is. Can someone can someone comment what a tapestry is? Because I I don't know. <laughs> More than any statue of hero or old tapestry, these runes made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth, which means the sword is a Pokemon, the shield is a Pokemon. Um, both. I'm just going to select sword because that's the version that I'm playing. That's literally the only reason. That's the only reasoning behind this. <laughs> the sword. Wait, is, is it? I bet it's like one of one of them is right, one of them is wrong. I don't know. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Oh, yeah. So wait, what would have happened if I selected the shield? Would, would it have still said, yep, I was thinking the same thing or no? I think it would probably like, it probably, it would probably just say yup on whether what game you're playing. So if you're playing sword. Uh, whatever, if you select sword, then yup. If you select shield, then no. If you're playing shield, then, um, if you select shield, yup. Sword, no. That's just a theory. I don't know if that's actually right, but yup, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They, they just faded from history. The young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these runes be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I feel like we may we've made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenges too. Okay. Okay. Guess you'll be headed to Ballon Lee next, right? I I guess. Okay then. I don't. I didn't know where that was a place. I mean, I don't really know where I'm heading to next, but I guess you're right. So, oh, they gave me two revives. So that makes up for the two revives that I gave uh, Inteleon and um, who is it? Pikachu or Genie? One of the one of those two. You put the revives in your bag's medicine pocket. So that was an eventful episode. Uh, we. Um, we used Inteleon for a bit. I, I didn't really use Inteleon as much as I wanted to. I thought it was just going to be a video all about Inteleon. Uh, getting to see how different it was to Drizzle and Subble. And yeah, but um, it turned out to be more... I think it was more cutscenes than actual battling. So um, yeah, but if you're wondering where I'm going... Um, I'm just going to the uh, Poke Center so I can heal up my Pokemon. I'll probably head back up there. But anyway, that is going to probably be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, then uh, please like the video. Give it a big fat thumbs up um, to keep the store series uh, running. Even though this was uploaded on front, uh, Sunday, I still think I, I think that it will be back to normal. Um, so uh, the, next the next one, as I left a big gap, the next one will be um, the upcoming Wednesday. So yeah, I just... Um, the un unpheasant what unpheasant oh that's wait unpheasant and the rest of your team oh that's probably what pigeon man is so anyway uh yeah i don't care about the <laughs> rare pokemon at wedgehurst i'm pretty sure there's always a rare pokemon at wedgehurst so anyway uh yeah as i said that's in the end of the video like if you did enjoy uh subscribe because i upload daily for you guys to watch i make gaming videos daily um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers and 10,000 overall views, so if you just subscribe, then you're helping that happen, and you've already helped the view go happen, because you're watching this video, and uh, if, if, if you've actually finished, what, if you've actually watched it the whole way through, then you're a legend, but enough talking, that is going to be the end of the video, if you did enjoy, oh, well, okay, like, I, I always repeat myself, if you did enjoy, like the video, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I want to say thank you guys all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!